uh, greetings to all in the matchless and mighty name of our lord and savior jesus christ today i want to speak uh, from this topic choice what is your choice uh, let us open our bibles and let us uh, meditate from john chapter 1 verse 38 uh, which is my key verse for today in that we see two disciples john and andrew they go running and uh, go behind jesus and ask him teacher where do you live and jesus gives the answer that come and see and here we see that john and andrew were not like others who were waiting for jesus to prove himself they heard the testimony from a witness john the baptist that he is the living lamb of god and they by faith went and uh, they followed they took the choice to follow jesus so this was their choice and in verse 11 we see the jewish people who did not accept jesus that was their choice now here we see in the bible that choice is a very important aspect choice is very important choice can never be small especially this choice this is a life decision so it is this choice that kept john the apostle who wrote this gospel alive even in when he was put in boiling oil even he, when he was uh, uh, sent to uh, the island of patmos he did not die he was alive there and he got the revelation of jesus christ and this is the choice that kept paul uh, from losing hope this is the choice that gives us life eternal life eternal joy eternal peace and a new hope so this is the joy this is the hope and this is the love that you receive if you take the, this choice which choice Jesus Christ it's written there only that this is a choice which gives you the right to become the children of god not only to uh, for someone to say and call you that this is a child of god no you really in fact become the child of god even in the old testament we see daniel and his friends we see joseph we see samuel we see abraham when i notice these names uh, i notice that they were all youths and and be uh, me being as a youth and maybe you seeing uh, will also be a youth you know in our in our youth we are like uh, the arrows in the hand uh, of the uh, warrior you know uh, we can be thrown anywhere we can be put anywhere but we should have the right guidance and this word of god it gives us the right guidance so daniel and his friends joseph uh, and samuel we see these young lads they took the choice to follow god not uh, to follow the world not uh, they did not choose the world so that is how they found life and that is why we also read in psalms chapter 1 that blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly we see there that 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 man will be blessed and we see that that uh, he will be as a tree that is planted by the rivers of water and it will bring forth its fruit so it is said uh, uh, that this choice i am saying that this choice will at many times you no know, it will leave us uh, away from this world it many times the world will reject us it will mock us uh, for these type of uh, for this choice that we took which choice to follow jesus because the world did not accept jesus the world did not accept jesus and uh, because of these cares of this world you know uh, it should not choke the light that is in you which light uh, as it is written in mark chapter 4 verse 19 that uh, you know the cares of this world it chokes the word it chokes it and so it should be our prayer that the word that we have in us due to the cares of this world it should not get choked and uh, all these things of this world the worldly pleasure the money everything these are all temporary you should know that your heavenly father is watching over you don't choose the worldly pleasures if you see simon the sorcerer ananias and sapphira they must they were all following christ but this the cares of this world the greed these all choked that word and they were blinded from seeing christ 
In Matthew chapter 6 verse 24, we see that no one can serve two masters. Same we see in 1 John chapter 2, 15 to 16, Romans chapter 12 verse 2, Colossians chapter 3 verse 2, 1 Timothy chapter 6 verse 10, John chapter 15 verses 19, which says that if you love God, the world will hate you. 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 11, which says that we should wage war against sinful desires. But here, many of you will think that, then what am I getting? What is the happiness that I am getting from Christ here? Philippians chapter 4 verse 19 says that God will meet all your needs. Romans chapter 8 verse 28. Then uh, John chapter 14 verse 27, the peace of Christ. And Ephesians chapter 1 verse 3, spiritual blessings. And at the end, at the end, you know, when you have overcome and when you come out as a mighty warrior, when you come out refined as gold and when your heavenly father sees you, he will say, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. That's why we read in Revelation chapter 21 verse 4. It is written, and God will wipe away every tear from their eyes and there will be no more pain nor sorrow nor crying. There shall be no more pain for the former things have passed away. May God bless you with these words and I pray that you take the right choice. You can, you have to decide, you have to decide between the world and money and greed uh, and all these temporary pleasures versus the eternal uh, blessings, the eternal love, joy, peace and hope that uh, uh, you will get uh, from God through Jesus Christ. So may God bless you with these words and I pray that you will be able to take the right decisions. God bless you.